Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching another episode. Um, you know, just five minutes, man. That's all we're gonna take. Not, not, not more than that. So, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about as revival gets closer, as we get closer to seeing revival happen and show up in our midst. Um, what is God doing? And you know what, what the Lord has been just showing me, and what He spoke through us last Sunday too, was that that not only is revival getting closer. But he's going to begin to explain to us things. He's going to lead us every step of the way. And along the way, there's going to be these mile markers that he shows us. Like, you're going to see this happen. And then you're going to see this happen. And we're going to just begin to reel it in and move closer. And that the presence of God is going to begin to intensify at our meetings. So you're not going to want to miss a meeting because you never know what God's going to do or what he's going to say or what's going to happen there. Um, but I want to read... Um, a couple of scriptures for you. The first one is 1 Corinthians 2, 9, and it says this, um, but as it is written, uh, no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor heart of man imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. So we know something great is coming. In 1 Peter 1, 13, therefore preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So what we've been doing is we've been preparing our minds. We've been setting our focus on God. We've been getting ready um, for God to move in a way like we've never seen before and just preparing ourselves and looking and watching. Um, so the, the mile marker, the next one that the Lord, the Lord showed me was there's going to be a meeting. There's going to be a time where we meet together. It could be Sunday. It could be Tuesday. It could be any time where he's going to drop on us. A fresh baptism of the Holy Spirit, a fresh move of God, like tongues of fire in the book of Acts coming upon the people. There's going to be like a mighty rushing wind that floods the church. And when that happens, that's going to be like a mile marker. It's like, okay, we're still headed. We're there. We're getting, we're moving in the direction. It's going to be a mile marker that we see. And as we move past that one, God's going to reveal to us, okay, look for this. Okay, now look for this. And he's just going to lead us right into where revival shows up in the church. It's going to be really great. Um, um, but listen to this. As the enemy um, tries to stop God from moving, um, God is going to bring to ruin everything that he does. And this is what's really cool that's coming. Um, and so for those who believe, no weapon formed against them will prosper. So that's really awesome. Attacks will come. The plan of the enemy will be seen. However, God is going to cause us to understand what it means that no weapon formed against you will prosper. It's going to be something we learn to declare and walk in, even as the enemy intensifies his attacks. So declare it over your life. Declare it over your family. Declare it over your circumstances. Know that God's promise is for you. It's upon you. It's ahead of you, behind you, on all sides, around you. So begin to say that with me. You know what? No weapon formed against you will prosper. Say this. No weapon formed against us will prosper. No weapon formed against me will prosper. And when the enemy comes and he shows himself, remember that. Just declare that right to his face. No weapon formed against you will prosper. So get ready. The mile markers are coming. The intensity is here and revival is on its way. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.